What's up guys, my name is Fusions and today I'm going to open up this Bakugan Diamond Enoch Ultra and I'm also going to open up this Bakugan Resurgence Booster Pack. So let's get started. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with this Bakugan Resurgence Booster Pack. You guys already know what I'm looking for from this set, uh, but I'm going to tell you anyway, you're always going to hear this because um, I really want that Pyrus uh, Hyper Serpentis. Uh, I want uh, Blinding Ink, of course, Super Fuel, it's always nice, or any other cards that I don't have from this set, because I am trying to complete it, so let's see what we get from this set, alright, so Deep Dive, Solar Powered, Constrictor, Web Snare, Sword Barrage, I always get this almost in every pack, Pyrus Heat Shield, Diamond Cubo, nice, Titan Serpentis, okay. Air Zero, actually, this is a really good card. Awesome, really good card, Air, Air Zero, pretty cool. And for the last card, we have Ventus Mirage, which is a rare, but I don't know if this is uh, good. You never really want your opponent to roll their Bakugan, especially if they, they did not get a core that they wanted. So I don't know about this card. In my opinion, we did get a really good pack. We got this Air Zero, and um, it's actually a good card. We'll put that to the side. And now, let's take a look at Diamond Enoch himself. You guys may know that I already opened a regular Enoch, and I do have him right here. I've opened them on the channel already. Um, so if you guys didn't watch that video, you can watch it if you want. It's This Enoch is the same thing, but it's Diamond. So it's like, it's way better. Also, I needed a new Enoch because this guy's magnet, yeah, it's it's horrible. You guys will see. So hopefully this guy, this Diamond Enoch, is a lot better. Let's open him up. Well, actually, let me take a look at the back. Here he is. Pretty cool. Character card, action card, probably uh, Baku Gear. And then the gate trainer card. Pretty cool. Let's open it up. I never like to open up these Diamond Bakugan because I just like how they look in the box, just like that Trox. But this guy, I want him. I want a, <laughs> I want a new Enoch. This Enoch that I have already, he's not good at all. You guys will see. He does not open up. The magnet is, is not good. It's just not good at all. And I said, why am I going to buy another Enoch? Might as well get the diamond one. And I did. So pretty cool. And I did not find this uh, in a store. I had to buy it from somebody. But I don't mind. I don't mind it. This guy is so cool. And I use him a lot. So, yeah, it's worth it. All right, so we got the how to play, how to close them up. Obviously, I already know that because I do have this other one. We're going to compare them right now. You guys will see. All right, and then we have the character card. Enoch Ultra. He does carry that magic shield and that green fist. I like that he has that magic shield because it makes him a lot better. And look at him, 704 attack. That's really strong in my opinion. Yeah, really strong. All right, we'll put him in the back. We'll put him right there. And then, of course, I thought it was gonna be a Baku Gear card, but I did not remember that this is Diamond Enoch. So we're gonna get Diamond Enoch Ultra. Nine energy, which is insane. I might not use this at all. I don't think I will. 1,414 attack. It's a big boost, but for 9 energy, I'm not sure. It might be too much for me. And then we get this really cool gate trainer card that I've never seen because I haven't opened any Diamond Bakugan. And I thought it was just going to come with the darkest uh, gate trainer card. But look at this. It has the diamond symbol. Really cool. So this is a new one. Awesome. I like it. And my collection is growing with those gate trainer cards. And here we have his cores. We have a plus 500B, which is nice, but I prefer the plus 650, of course. It's a lot better. And then we have this minus two attack from the green fist. I think the best green fist that you can get is like uh, the ones that subtract energy costs from Baku Gear, especially the ones that has plus two attack and minus two Baku Gear energy. I think that's probably the best one in my opinion. All right, so now that we looked at everything else, now let's take a look at Enoch himself. So let's take him out and take a look at him up close. Ooh, 
really cool i really like these diamond bakugan so here he is his whole like center body is clear his wings are still uh dark and purple or black and purple um he is a darkest and then here we have even the tail is all clear with a little bit of um, purple and then that green of course the green is probably on the eyes as well yeah you guys can barely see it really cool he looks really nice and then his magnet is up here we're gonna open up the other enoch just to compare all right so here is the other one i'm gonna put his horns up so we can compare look at that difference yeah this diamond one looks really good let me just try to make it focus there we go yeah i like the diamond one a lot better really cool and i think you could put his arms out mm, no maybe not okay so now let me close them up just so you guys can see that i can close them up so these are movable the horns okay so then you would put this you would put the head down this over the wings then you put the tail put the legs over that and then close it with the back side but it looks a little wobbly hopefully it's not that wobbly all right so now let's see if he's gonna open up because like i said my other enoch that you guys will see right now um does not want to open up okay so let's see if he opens up three two one yep perfect nice my other enoch does not do that we're gonna try it we're gonna try doing it again but with the other enoch so now I'm gonna show you guys what I was dealing with with this old Enoch. Here we go, three, two, one. You saw that? That was, he does not stick to the cores. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna do it again. Look at that, what was that? <laughs> and now let's see the diamond Enoch. Three, two, one. Yeah, perfect, there we go. Let's do it one more time. Okay, so here we go, three, two, one. Yep. Okay. So he's a lot better than my old Enoch. That's for sure. That's what I wanted. The only thing that I don't like about Enoch is that he seems like too wobbly. I, I think that has to do with the clear plastic because I don't know. I'm trying to close him and he doesn't seem too sturdy. He seems like, like he's going to break. <laughs> so I don't know if, uh, if it's just me or maybe because this old Enoch that I have is a lot more sturdy like this seems too stiff but i don't know I, I i really like this enoch it's awesome all right guys so that's it for this review of diamond enoch in my opinion he's actually pretty cool and it was worth getting because this older enoch that i have yeah his magnet was not good at all so he's a big upgrade in my opinion and um, let me know down in the comments what you want me to open next. I got Tritoro's Ultra with the Baku gear right here. The, I could open him next. Or we got Pyrus Ramparian Ultra with Baku gear as well. Also, I'm going to get more Resurgence packs. They're on the way. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video. Thanks for watching, guys. And peace out.